Why are you in the hot seat? Come Ooh, on now. Mama! Oh! Oh! <laughs> Love you. Love you. You know I'm the star that's supposed to be in front of the camera. Hey! Yes, yeah, saving money. What's up party people? Today's video is going to be a TJ Maxx haul and it's gonna be surrounded by makeup and I found a lot, a lot, a lot of good stuff. I also went to a different TJ Maxx than I did in my last video. I've done this video once before and you guys really liked it and that's why I'm filming it again. Yeah, I'm obsessed with TJ Maxx and Home Goods, and I went to a different one this time to see if I could find different branded stuff and that I did indeed. The Home Goods life, like I love all the Halloween decor especially. It's my favorite time of year to go there and get all the Halloween and Thanksgiving and fall decor for home. So then I went upstairs and went to TJ Maxx as well. With that being said, we're gonna go ahead and jump into the video, but without further ado, we'll sing a special little song. And it goes something like, subscribe to my channel before you leave. I was off. You leave, subscribe. And let's go ahead and jump right into the video. Guys, we're gonna go ahead and jump right in. I got so much stuff. I'm really excited. Girl, is this box empty? <gasps> I think I bought an empty box. The box feels empty. Oh my gosh. <gasps> Guys, I think I did. People took the makeup. People took the makeup out of the box. And I literally just got this and someone took out the foundation and highlight. What the hell? And how did I not notice that whenever the box was so lightweight? They had a lot of these there. So far, this is an epic failure. Great. We'll have to go back to TJ Maxx on that one. Next up, I got something from Marc Jacobs. The package was kind of, it looked like it had seen better days. So <laughs> I bought it anyways because I wanted to check it out. So I got a $20 blush. No of $20 eyeshadow for $12.99. So good savings there. It does come in the nice Marc Jacobs pouch. Ooh, it even got, okay, someone swatched it. Someone swatched all the colors. Here are the colors. It has gray, black, and a shimmery white color, but you can tell a fingerprint has been in them. So that is not cool, but I'll go ahead and show you some swatch roosies Since someone swatched them, I don't trust using it on my eye. Just make sure you're opening and checking the makeup that you buy at TJ Maxx so you're not wasting your money. And I would also say, um, if they won't let you, I wouldn't buy it. So I got this Too Faced Cat's Eye Compact and it was $20, so I got it for $14.99. One color has been swatched maybe, but the rest look perfect. And they look really pretty. I've never used this palette. I've never gotten this palette before, so I'm excited to try it out. It looks like it has three shades for your brow bone, a satin, a shimmer, and a matte. And then it looks like it has six eyeshadow shades. So let's just swatch a few of these. Has anyone gotten this palette before? They do feel a wee bit dry. I don't know how old this eyeshadow palette is, but the colors look really pretty and they do have a lot of pigment. And then these are just the three highlight shades for like your brow bone or all over your lid. Here is this palette. It is missing the insert card that normally comes in Too Faced palettes. I guess that's okay. <laughs> We're gonna count this as a win, okay? Next from Estee Lauder. I really love their skincare line, especially their Advanced Night, blah, blah, blah. They have so many pieces to that line. So I got the Micro Cleansing Foam. I'm quite a sucker for cleansers. I adore them. I love them. I appreciate them. I like trying out new cleansers all the time as well. This is a $30 cleanser for $19.99 and it's supposed to be a really creamy, moussey cleanser. This is what it looks like. Let's have a sniff. Ooh, it's sealed. See, that's a good sign. That's when you know you're doing good business. It just smells super luxe. Nothing like Smells like you might have spent a lot of money on it. That's what it smells like. Okay, I got a lot of stuff from Kevin Aquan, and I'm really excited about that. I've never seen them at TJ Maxx before, and I, yeah, I'm just excited. Hmm, there's fingerprints all over this. Do you see the product all over it? That is not good. Oh, shoot. The pump is like the product's been used in it. This is $33. I bought it for 19 bucks. I'm gonna keep the box to see what I can do. Oh! It looks so pretty, it's like a bronzing mousse. I just imagine this all over my body more so than my face. The Celestial Skin Liquid Lightning. Ooh! It doesn't smell like anything great, but 
it looked really pretty and bronzy on the skin. So unfortunately it's been used, so I don't know if I should keep it. You guys are like, uh, no, Laura. Ugh. Next up, I got a Kevin Aquan mascara. Never tried their mascara. I haven't really gotten to play with a lot of Kevin Aquan makeup before, so it's like not a newer brand for me because I've known about it for a while. I just haven't tried out a lot of their makeup, so I'm excited to. Now, this is a $25 mascara that I got for $14.99. The mascara tube feels so luxe and heavy, and it is the essential mascara. Look at that tube. So far, so good. Hopefully this hasn't been used. Ooh, a lot comes off. I don't know about you guys, but I like when a lot of mascara comes off of my wand. I don't like whenever the little cleaner off or inside the tube scrapes all the mascara off. So I think I might like this mascara and it's a super black color. So I can't wait to try this out. From Butter London, I got one of their moisture lipsticks and I only paid five bucks for this. For this. This is normally $8. This is what it looks like in the black little tube right here. I opened it, it does not, It has not been used. That's great. So another win. Ooh, very moisturizing. It's not a matte lipstick, if you can see it has a sheen to it, but it is a bright pink color and it looks so pretty. Like very even of application. I got something else from Kevin Aquan, Aquan. Why do I have to make everything a jingle? I don't know. So I got, this is a powder foundation. I got the shade medium. I'm normally a medium, so I just, grab medium and pray for the best. But this one was originally $33 and I got it for $19.99. Ooh, comes with a brush that's still in the plastic, kind of, sort of. Um, so that's a good sign. Oh, very soft. It is very, very soft. Then in this pretty velvet casing comes the, oh God, why? I just don't understand. It has like, I don't know if you can tell, well you can tell it's been used, but it has like a massive used mark across it. And the color's way, way, way too light for me anyways. Ugh, this is just a mess. Someone swatched it to see if it was their skin color, I'm sure, and it was not. So they put it back and left it there for me to buy. <laughs> Find me. Okay, I bought another Laura Geller three piece set and uh, the product's actually in the box, so that's a good sign. Let's see here. All three pieces are in here. Aw, it's all lip, it's a lip strip, so it's a lip scrub, such a cute little tube. And then it has two lip oils. One is candied apricot and one is honey lavender. These are interesting, very interesting. Apply it generous to your bare lips. So let's open her up. <gasps> the top of it just broke off. Literally the top just broke off. It's just, it's supposed to be glued on and it's not. Oh my gosh, this one's broken too, guys. What is the tea? <gasps> this is so janky. What? I'm done with that. I'm not doing this. I'm not. Okay, and thank God this one's just a squeezy tube because <gasps> three for three, Jesus. Why are we having so much trouble? Let's open up something I know isn't busted. I found a beauty blender. How awesome is that? I mean, Honestly, you can never have enough makeup brushes and beauty blenders, in my opinion, because they get so dirty and sometimes you don't have time to wash them, so then you're just like, hallelujah. Uh, this one is a $20, and I got it for $14.99, and it is the original beauty blender, and from what I can tell, it has not been used. So I just got a discounted beauty blender in the shade purple. How cool. Next, I got another skincare product. This is the Potent Wrinkle Reducing Cream, which why not, right? So this is by Strivectin. Strivectin, I like their skincare. They're normally found at Sephora. This was 27, I got it for 16.99. Almost saved 10 bucks there. Oh, and it is brand new. We have a nighttime serum. Would you look at that? Has not been used. That's a good deal. I love good skincare as well. I just bought this. This isn't like high-end or well-known makeup by any means. But I bought this because I thought this would be cute to put in a giveaway for you guys. So this is $12.99. It was originally $26. And it's a, just a brush set. And the brushes look so soft and it came with a sponge. So I actually got this for you guys. And then I'm going to do a big giveaway soon. But I also got this for you guys. And this... I thought it was so cute in the makeup bag. It was 16 bucks and I got it for $9.99. Next, I got another Kevin Aquan product and this is a eyeshadow duo. And this was originally $25 that I got for $14.99. It's in its nice little velvet compact. Oh, it has not been swatched. There's a little fallout, which is probably because it's been beaten up and Oh, do you see the swatches? Girl, I see the swatches. Almost got played. Why? 
These are a little bit powdery feeling and dry again, but they are pretty colors with a lot of pigment. I just wish they weren't swatched. I now will open everything that I buy at TJ Maxx. I know the last time I did the haul, like one or two products were, but nothing like this, girl. This is a mess. Next, I got from Benefit Hide and Sheen. So it's like a concealer and highlighter in one. Oh my God, have you guys seen that video going around of me saying concealer wrong for a minute straight? I live for it and I pretty much watch it every night before I go to bed. I'm obsessed. This is $13, was, and I got it for $9.99. So I only saved three bucks. This is definitely an older package from Benefit because this is nothing I've seen before. It hasn't been used. I repeat, it has not been used. That's super good. It feels super creamy and good. Ooh, that concealer. Oh, there you go, make another video. Concealer, concealer, concealer. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. You can see that concealer does look like it's super nice. The highlight is so-so, but we're just gonna have to try this out. I got this really interesting product. Let me know in the comment section if you want me to try it out. This is the Bungalow Beauty. This is a sponge, and one side of it's kind of velvety, and one side of it's silicone, which I know these have been around, but not with the velvet side. So I thought I would try it. And I got this for $3.99. It was originally $6. So a $4 sponge, it could be good. Next, I got a product that I've tried before and I do like. This is the Bare Minerals. It's their translucent powder and they have a glow side and a like luminous side. So I got this for $19.99. It was $25. So it sent me a big 20, no, five bucks. Girl, you can do some math better than that. Huh. I'm like inspecting everything that I get. Like, So it's super white, but... This is the matte and this is the glow. I don't think, yeah, this has not been messed with. So, um, I kind of hope it hasn't. But anyways, this is really great for mattifying the skin. So I rub it in. Super translucent. This product is awesome and I do like it, but it will flash back on you if you aren't careful. Last but certainly not least, I got a Kevin Aquan eye pencil for $9.99 that was originally $17 hairs. Oh, the pencil is double-ended, so I got a bang for my buck. Oh, it is not double-ended. One's a smudgy. Oh, this is really pretty. It looks like it has been swatched, but I might. Oh my god, this is pretty. Makes me want to do a blue eye look. This is so pretty. Yes. This is called Defining Navy. And that is it for my TJ Maxx haul. We had quite a few because the products were swatched or open. So like I said in the video, I highly recommend that you open and check those products before you buy them. Don't get played like I did, okay? And also, um, uh, we had a lot of hits and saved a lot of money on makeup. How awesome is that? Let me know what you find at your local TJ Maxx. And uh, I love you guys so much. Thanks for being here. Please subscribe to my channel before you leave. And I'll see you in my next video. Now cha-cha, y'all. Okay, that's all for this video. I'm done being a silly billy. I'll see you later.